13 investigates update tonight. The return to nature funeral home where investigators found nearly 200 bodies decomposing is now reduced to just rubble. The first day of demolition for the building by the EPA is just about complete, but before it started, a ceremony for families to bid that nightmarish building goodbye. All of this happening today just off of Highway 115 in Penrose. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington is live at the soon to be former site of the Return to Nature funeral home with this major update. Tyler. Yeah, Bart, Heather, you can see this building behind me, one that's caused so many families anguish for so many years here in Southern Colorado is now no more. Families clutching photos of their loved ones today who were found in that building half a year ago. Today, marking the start of a new chapter for nearly 200 families impacted in this investigation. I'm happy. I feel like I can finally start healing, finally get some closure. Tuesday marked the beginning of the end for the return to nature funeral home, with federal health officials reducing the building to rubble by the afternoon. Folks, this, this community shares your grief. In a ceremony held before the demolition, Fremont County officials thanked the agencies who helped the investigation get to this point. Thank you. Families saying the same. A day that understandably led to tears and hugs of comfort for many. A, a lot of emotion. Um, it, it hit me harder than I thought it would, actually. And yet, Kerry Wyrick Polakoff's father, Skip, still hasn't been identified yet, marring this day for a true sense of closure. I'm not sure I'm ever going to feel that. Mary Simons, who Cardio 13 spoke to the first day of this investigation in October, says... It's a day she's been waiting for. Oh, it's a whole new chapter that I'm actually really excited to be starting right now. Photos may be the one reminder that these families still have, but the funeral home will no longer be one, as all of the debris will be shipped to a landfill in Otero County within the next 10 days. Just hoping for some peace. Fremont County Coroner Randy Keller, who organized that ceremony earlier today, says that 17 bodies still remain to be identified in this investigation and says they are now down to the process of just using DNA to try to bring those families answers. Reporting live here in Penrose, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13 Investigates. Such a long